everybody. Today we will crochet the yellow diamonds cocoon shrug. The tilted squares in this pattern look like little diamonds to me. This easy cocoon cardigan is made from a rectangle. No shaping is needed. We can make it in sizes XS to 5XL for women. The written pattern has been linked in the description box below along with the timestamps so you can skip ahead to whatever part you want. This is an easy step-by-step -step beginner friendly tutorial for this lacy cocoon shrug. Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Thank you for clicking on this video. Please subscribe for similar crochet tutorials. To crochet this cocoon shrug, this is the yarn that I am using, Big Twist. We don't need to use exactly the same yarn. We can use any medium weight yarn for this shrug. I'm going to leave the amount in the description box below. So each skein has 170 grams or 380 yards of yarn. This is 100% acrylic yarn. And our shade is pale yellow. So the other material we are going to need is a 5.5 mm or an eye size crochet hook, scissors, measuring tape, tapestry needle and some stitch markers. Now let's begin. So this is a rough schematic for our shrug. We are going to make it from a rectangle. There will be no increases or decreases or shaping. So we are going to begin by chaining the width and then we are going to repeat the rows till we reach the required height of the rectangle for our size. On the screen, I am leaving some general sizes for the width of the shrug. I will show you how to adjust it if you want. Once again, I am sorry for the very bad drawing. So the width of the shrug is where the sleeves fall on our arms and that is going to be a little below the elbow. And the height of the shrug is from our neck till where we want the shrug to end which is just below our rear or however long we want our shrug to be. So you can measure and decide however big or small you want your shrug to be. To begin with a slip knot, we can make this however we want. Now once we make a slip knot, we are going to chain the width of our shrug. For this pattern, our chain has to be a multiple of 4. Let's begin chaining. Yarn over and then pull through. This is our first chain. 2. This is our second chain. 3. This is our third chain. 4. This is our fourth chain. Now we are just going to continue chaining 4 till we reach the width of our shark. So let's do it again. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now continue doing this till you reach the width of the shark and I will meet you once we finish. So once we finish chaining the width of the shark, we are going to begin row 1. We are going to double crochet in the sixth chain from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a chain. Skip the first chain, second chain, third chain, fourth chain and fifth chain. In the sixth chain that we see, we are going to make a double crochet. Let's begin with a double crochet. So yarn over first, insert your hook into the top loop of the sixth chain. You can work into the back loop also. We are going to yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and then pull through two loops. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last two. So we have made a double crochet. Next we are going to chain one. So yarn over and then pull through. So now we are going to skip the next chain. We have worked in this chain. We can see we are going to skip this very next chain and go to the next chain and make a double crochet. So yarn over. After the skip chain in the next chain, we are going to insert our hook. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. So the repeat pattern for this row is very easy. We are going to chain one, then we are going to skip the next chain and make a double crochet in the next chain. Do it again. We are going to chain one, skip this next chain and make a double crochet in the next chain. Now we are going to continue doing this till the very last chain and I will meet you at the end of this row. So I have reached the end of the row and we are going to make a last double crochet in the very last chain that we see. This is the end of row 1. Let's go to row 2. We are going to begin with a chain 4. Yarn over and pull through 1, 2, 3 
and 4. And now we are going to turn our work. So now we are going to work in this direction. This chain 4 that we have made counts as a double crochet and a chain 1 stitch. So we are not going to work into this very first double crochet that we see and we are going to jump over this chain 1 space. Now come to this next double crochet and this is where we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over then we are going to insert a hook below both the loops of the V of this double crochet. Then we are going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. Now we are going to chain 1. We are not going to work into this chain 1 space or this gap here. We are going to work into the next double crochet. So we are going to yarn over, insert a hook below both the loops of the V and make a double crochet. So in this row, we won't be working into any of these chain 1 spaces. We are just going to be working into the double crochets. The repeat pattern is very easy. We are going to chain 1 and then make a double crochet in this next double crochet. Chain 1 again and make a double crochet in the next double crochet. Continue till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the row now, made a double crochet in the last double crochet. I am going to chain 1. Now we are going to skip this next chain that we see. So you can see that this is the double crochet. Skip the next chain after that and in the very next chain, we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain and make your double crochet. So all this chain is a chain 5 that we had skipped in the beginning of row 1. So this is what our work is going to look like after row 2. Let's go to row 3. We are going to begin with a chain 2. 1, 2. Turn your work. We are not going to work into the same stitch. We are going to jump to the next double crochet that we see here and make a double crochet in it. So yarn over. And we are going to just insert our hook into the top of this double crochet and make a double crochet. So right after the chain 2, we have made a double crochet into the next double crochet. After this, we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. And we are going to go and make 3 double crochets around this double crochet that we just made. So I am going to show you how to do that. We are going to yarn over first. Insert our hook like this around the double crochet then we are going to yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last two. We are going to make two more double crochets around this double crochet in the same way as the first. Yarn over. Insert your hook like this. Yarn over. Pull through. We have three loops. We are going to make one more around the same double crochet. So yarn over first, then we are going to insert your hook like this, go around the double crochet, yarn over and then pull through. From now on, our row is going to be very easy. So we are going to skip the next double crochet. See, we have worked in this double crochet, we are going to skip the next and in the next, we are going to make this very same diamond pattern that we made here. So I am skipping this double crochet and in this next double crochet we are going to make a double crochet first. So yarn over then insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Make your double crochet and after this we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3 and now we are going to go around this double crochet post that we just made and made 3 double crochets. Our work is straight. This is the double crochet. We are going to make three double crochets around. I am just going to turn my work a little bit so it is easier to work. Yarn over first. Insert your hook just below the post like this. Then yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Make your double crochet. And we are going to make one more.
So for this row, we are just going to continue repeating this pattern. We are going to skip the next double crochet, make a double crochet in the next double crochet. After we do that, we are going to chain 3 and we are going to go around this double crochet and make 3 double crochet. So this is our first, this is our second. So you can always hold the bottom here to stabilize the stitch. And we are going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row and I will meet you there. So I have reached the end of the row and you can see I have made this last pattern repeat of chain 3 and 3 double crochet around the double crochet. What we can see is our chain 4 that we made at the beginning of the previous row. So we are going to find the third chain of this chain 4 and make a double crochet in it. So at the bottom here is our first chain, then we have our second chain, here we have our third chain. So we are going to yarn over and carefully insert a hook into the third chain and make a double crochet and this is the end of the row. Let's go to row 4. We are going to begin with a chain 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And this time this chain 4 counts as a triple crochet. Now we are going to turn our work. So now we are just going to skip all these stitches and jump to this loop made by the chain 3 here. So if we turn our work, in the previous row we have made a chain 3 and then made 3 double crochets. So this is the loop that we are going to work into. So in this chain 3 loop, we are going to make the same pattern as the previous row. We are going to begin with a double crochet first. So yarn over. Now insert your hook right into this loop made by the chain 3 here. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through and continue making a double crochet. After that, we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. So I am going to turn my work a little bit and around this double crochet that we made, we are going to make 3 double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, make your first double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook. Remember to work around the double crochet post. And this is a third and last double crochet. The repeat pattern for this row is going to be, we are just going to jump to the next loop and repeat the same pattern that we made in this first loop. So we are going to begin with a double crochet first, insert your hook into the loop. After that we are going to chain 3 and we are going to make 3 double crochets around this double crochet post. 1, 2 and 3. So in this row also we are just going to continue making these little diamonds till we reach the end of the row or the last loop. So let's make one more together. We are going to make a double crochet in the next loop. Then we are going to chain 3. Make 3 double crochet around this post. I will meet you at the end of this row. I have reached the end of the row and I have made my very last diamond in the last chain 3 loop. So now we are going to find our chain 2 here. So we are going to go down these two diamonds and we will see our chain 2 stitch here and in the second chain we are going to make a triple crochet to end row 4. So this is our first chain and this on top is the second chain. So we are going to make a triple crochet. Yarn over once and then yarn over twice. Then insert your hook into the second chain. Yarn over and then pull through. We have 4 loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through 2. We have 3 loops, yarn over and pull through 2. We have 2 loops, yarn over and pull through the last 2. And this is the end of the row. At the end of row 4, you can see we have made 2 rows of the diamond row. Let's go to row 5. Row 5, we are going to chain 4 and then turn our work. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just like the previous row, in this row also we are going to be working into this chain 3 loop or the loop made by the chain 3. Just insert your hook into this loop and we are going to make a single crochet. So insert your hook, 
yarn over and then pull through. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through both. Now we are going to chain three. One, two, three. And we are going to jump to this next loop and make a single crochet in this as well. So this is where we made our first single crochet. Then we chain three, jump to the next loop, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both. So we are going to continue doing this till the end of the row. It's a very easy row. We are going to chain three, jump to this next loop that we see, insert your hook, make a single crochet. Continue till you reach the very last loop. I will meet you there. Reach the end of the row, finish my very last repeat of chain 3 and then single crochet in the very last loop. And now we are going to end this row. So first we are going to chain 1 and then we are going to find our chain 4 that we made here. And we are going to make a double crochet in the 4th chain. So we are going to count our chains 1, 2, 3 and 4. And in this chain we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the 4th chain and make your double crochet. Row 6. Now this is a single crochet row. So we are going to chain 1 and then turn our work. The chain 1 does not count as a stitch. So we are going to go into this very first double crochet that we see here and we are going to make our first single crochet. So the loop on the hook is not a stitch. This is our chain 1 stitch, not a stitch. This is our double crochet. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V and make a single crochet. And now we are going to go to this chain 1 space here and make a single crochet in it as well. So just insert your hook right into the space, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through both. Now we are going to go to the next single crochet and make a single crochet in it. So insert your hook, again we are working below both the loops of the V and make your single crochet. So now we will begin the repeat pattern for this row. So this is the chain 3 we made in the previous row and in the space here we are going to make 3 single crochet. So we are just going to insert our hook into the space, yarn over and pull through. We have 2 loops, yarn over and pull through both. Make 1 more single crochet. So just insert your hook and make 1 more single crochet in the same space. After that we are going to jump to the single crochet here. We are going to insert our hook below both the loops of the V make a single crochet. So we are just going to continue repeating this till the end of the row. In this space made by the chain 3, we are going to make 3 single crochet, 1, 2 and 3 and in the single crochet, we are going to make 1 single crochet. So continue till the end and I will meet you there. Now I have reached the end of the row, made a single crochet in this last single crochet and this is our chain 4. We are going to make a single crochet in the space. So just insert your hook into the space, make one single crochet and now we are going to find the third chain of this chain 4. So count 1, 2, 3 and in the third chain we are going to make our last single crochet. So insert your hook, make a single crochet. Row 7, we are going to begin with the chain 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and this is a double crochet and a chain 1 stitch. Turn your work. So we are not going to work into the first single crochet, we are not going to work into the second single crochet. We are going to go to the third single crochet and make a double crochet in it. So if you see this is a chain 4, make sure you skip the first two single crochet, go to this third single crochet and make a double crochet in it. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. Let's begin the repeat pattern for this row, we are going to chain 1. We are going to skip this next single crochet and double crochet in the next single crochet. So yarn over. Remember we have worked in this stitch. We are going to skip the next stitch and in the next single crochet make a double crochet. Chain 1. Skip the next single crochet and double crochet in the next single crochet. We are going to continue this till the end of the row and I will meet you there reach the end of the row. I have two single crochets left. So this is my double crochet. Then I'm going to chain one, skip the second last single crochet and in the very last single crochet I'm again going to make a double crochet. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V. What we see here is our chain stitch on the corner here and now we are going to make a double crochet to end this row. 
8. We are going to chain 4 and then turn our work. 1, 2, 3 and 4. This chain 4 counts as a double crochet and a chain 1 stitch. This is the last row of our repeat pattern. So row 8 is exactly like row 2 that we made here. So we've already worked into this first double crochet. We're going to jump to this next double crochet and make a double crochet in it. Yarn over. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Make a double crochet. So now we will begin a repeat pattern for this row. We're going to chain 1, jump to the next double crochet and make a double crochet in it. We're going to chain 1, jump to the next double crochet and make a double crochet in it. Continue doing this till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the row with a double crochet in the last double crochet. Now we are going to chain 1, skip the next chain that we see here and in the next chain we are going to make a double crochet. So the next chain is also the third chain. We are going to make a double crochet in it. And this is the end of the row. So this is what our work looks like currently. And now we are going to begin the repeat rows. So we are going to repeat from row 3 to row 8. So we are going to start with row 3, then row 4, then row 5 and 6, then row 7 and then row 8. Continue repeating them. 3, then 4, then 5, 6, then 7 and 8. Once we finish it, we will come back to row 3. Now we are going to continue repeating from row 3 to row 8 till we reach the required height of our shrub. To continue till we reach this entire height. So on the screen, I am leaving some general sizes for the height of the shrug. You can always decide how long or short you want your shrug to be. I have finished repeating all my rows and I have finished at row 8. Once we finish, we are going to leave a long tail about 20 to 30 inches and cut the yarn. Then we are going to pull out the loop by tugging on our crochet hook. For this tutorial, I have made a small square but on the screen you can see that this is the rectangle of my shrug. So now we are going to turn our shrug so that the right side faces up. When the slip knot is at the bottom left of the shrug, this is the right side of our shrug. Now we are going to make the armholes. So this is our shrug right now. On the bottom we have our chain. This is the height of the shrug. We are going to fold this in half. So we are just going to take the top of the shrug and bring it towards the bottom like this. So we have folded it in half. Once we fold the shrug in half, the wrong side of the shrug faces up. Now we are going to close the sides and make armholes on the wrong side. Now we want to make armholes. So we are going to add stitch marker 1 and stitch marker 2 on both the sides of our shrug. So from the top of the shrug we are going to measure and leave a gap and then add a stitch marker. We are going to do the same for the other side from the top measure and add a stitch marker. Now on the screen I am leaving some general armhole sizes. You can wear the shrug and decide if you want to make it bigger or smaller. So on the top we have our armhole and we are going to leave it open. We are going to start sewing from the bottom here till we reach the stitch marker here. We are going to do the same for this other side. Start closing from the bottom till we reach the stitch marker. So this is my very small shrug. So I have marked one stitch marker here and then one stitch marker on this side. Now we are going to begin closing. So for the first side, I am just going to turn my shrug like this and we had left behind a tail. So we are just going to use this tail to close this side. We are going to take our tapestry needle and we are going to use it to sew both these sides closed. But now we want to remember, we want to match the stitches exactly and make sure that both these sides are aligned so that we sew straight. So we are going to start closing from the last stitch here. Insert your needle on the first side. And we are going to insert our needle into the last stitch on the second side. Tug on the needle. Come back to the first side. Insert your needle and insert your needle into the second side. So for this last stitch I am going twice. Now these loops are going to lie on top. Now we are going to take our needle, come back to the first side, insert our needle. Go to the second side, insert the needle. Push the needle. And this loop should lie on top. So as evenly as possible, we are going to continue into the first side, then into the second side. Tug on the needle. Into the first side, then the second side. Continue till you reach the stitch marker and I will meet you there. So I have reached my stitch marker. I am just going to go one extra time from the first side to the second side. Once we finish, we are going to take our tapestry needle 
and only on one side of the shark we are going to weave this tail end in. So we are going to go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction with our needle. So make sure you go through only one side. And you are going to do this till the yarn is firmly weaved in. Now you are going to take a scissor and cut this tail end off. I have just finished closing this side. I am just going to turn my entire shrug like this. Now this is the second side. Here we have our slip knot and if we want we can weave this in before we continue closing this side. So to close this side we want to take another piece of yarn about 20 to 30 inches. And now we are going to close this side. Before we start we want to make sure that both the sides are placed exactly against one another. With the needle we are going to go into the last stitch on the first side and into the last stitch on the second side. Tuck on the needle. If we want we can tie a small knot here. Now again we are going to come back to the first side and then go into the second side. So now we know how to close. Once we reach the stitch marker I will meet you there. So now when we reach the stitch marker, we are going to weave in the tail end and then you can weave in any remaining ends because this is the wrong side of the shrug. So now we are just going to open the shrug up. Once we open it up, this is what our shrug is going to look like. But this is the wrong side of our shrug. We want to add a border to the right side. So we are going to turn it inside out and make sure the right side faces up before we add the border for our shrug. So after we open up the shrug, on the inside here we have the wrong side and on the outside here we have the right side of our shrug. On the sides here we have the right side. This is all the inside of our shrug. To add a border for the shrug, we are going to begin by attaching the yarn at the bottom here. We are going to continue making a round in this way and then come back to the bottom here and we are going to continue making rounds. We have one armhole on this side and one on this side. So to make the border for the armhole, we are going to attach the yarn at the seam here and then continue in rounds like this. And for this side, we are going to attach the yarn at the seam here and continue in rounds like this. Let's begin our border for the center of the shrug and we are going to attach the yarn at the bottom here. To attach the yarn at the bottom, we are going to go from the right side and just below double crochet into the chain. So this is my double crochet and this is the chain here. So insert your hook like this. So we are coming from the right side to the wrong side. We are going to catch the yarn in a loop form on the hook and we are going to pull it through. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. This is our first double crochet. Now we are going to make a next double crochet in the next stitch which is this chain 1 stitch here. So yarn over just insert your hook into the space that you see and make a double crochet in it. Now we are going to chain 2. So 1 and 2. We are going to skip the next 2 stitches. We are going to skip this double crochet and this chain 1 space. Jump to the double crochet, make a double crochet in it. So we are going to work into the chain right below the double crochet. You can see this little gap here, insert your hook, make a double crochet. Make one more double crochet in this next space. We are going to chain 2. I am sorry. So basically we are making 2 double crochet, chain 2. 2 double crochet, chain 2. Because we have chain 2, we are going to skip the next 2 stitches, 1 and 2. In the next stitch, we are going to make a double crochet. And in the next stitch, we are going to make a double crochet. After that, we are going to chain 2. So once we chain 2, we are going to skip the next 2 stitches, this double crochet and this chain 1 stitch. And then in the next 2 stitches, we will make a double crochet. So continue till you reach the side seam and I will meet you there. So as you can see, this is my seam and I have reached the seam now. I have made a chain 2. So I am going to skip this next stitch and the next chain 1 space. And near the side seam, we have 2 double crochets together. So we are going to make a double crochet in this stitch. And a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 2. We are just continuing the same pattern. We are going to skip the next stitch which is a chain 1 stitch and the next stitch which, which is a double crochet. Make a double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch. 
again we will chain 2 and we are going to skip the next 2 stitches. So in the same way we are going to continue till we reach the end of the round and I will meet you there. So at the end of the round you are going to notice once you make your last double crochet you have no stitches left. We are just going to chain 2 and we are not going to skip any stitches. We are going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3 we made at the beginning of the round. Now right after that we have a double crochet. First chain, second chain and third chain. So insert your hook into the third chain, yarn over and then pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So we have ended by a slip stitch. Let's go to round 2. We're going to begin with 2 slip stitches in this round. We want to jump to this chain 2 space to begin our round. So we're going to slip stitch to this next double crochet and slip stitch to this chain 2 space. So go to the next double crochet, just insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Then we're going to yarn over and then pull through and pull through the loop on our hook. Now we are going to go to the chain 2 space in the same way insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. And now we are going to begin the same pattern as the previous row. We are going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Double crochet in the same chain 2 space. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same space and make a double crochet. After the 2 double crochets we are going to chain 2. We are going to skip both these double crochets. Jump to the next chain 2 space. Make 2 double crochets in this space. 1, I'm sorry, 1 and 2. Now we're going to chain 2. Skip over these next 2 double crochet. Jump to the next chain 2 space. Make 2 double crochets in it. 1 and 2. Chain 2 again. Skip over the next 2 double crochet. In the next space, we are going to make 2 double crochet, chain 2 and so on. Continue till you reach the end of the round. I will meet you there. So, I have reached the end of the round. I have made 2 double crochet. I am going to chain 2. And we are going to skip the last 2 double crochet and join by a slip stitch to the 3rd chain of the chain 3. The 1st chain, the 2nd chain and the 3rd chain. Right after that, we have our next double crochet. So, make sure you join in the right chain. So after we do this, we are going to go to round 3. Round 3 and round 4 are a repeat of round 2. So they are very easy to make. We already know how to make it. Let's just begin round 3 together. We are going to begin by 2 slip stitches. Slip stitch in the next double crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through. Go to the next chain 2 space. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Now we are going to begin the round with a chain 3. Make a double crochet in the same space. Chain 2, skip over the next 2 double crochet. In the next space, you are going to make 2 double crochet and then chain 2. So on till we reach the end of the round. I will meet you once we finish all 4 rounds. So now I have finished making 4 rounds in all of the border. And now we are going to make the next round which is round 5 which is a double crochet chain 1 round. So in this round, we are not going to slip stitch to the next double crochet and to the chain 2 space. We are going to begin with a chain 4. 1, 2, 3. 3 and 4. This chain 4 counts as a double crochet and a chain 1. Now we are going to skip this next double crochet and jump to this chain 2 space. In this space we are going to make a double crochet and a chain 1. Now we are going to jump to this next double crochet, make a double crochet and then we are going to chain 1. Skip the next double crochet. In the next chain 2 space, we are going to make a double crochet and then chain 1. Jump to these next 2 double crochet, make a double crochet, chain 1. Jump to the chain 2 space, double crochet, chain 1. Continue till the end of the round and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the round. I have made a double crochet and a chain 1 in the last chain 2 space. And we are going to join by a slip stitch to the 3rd chain of the chain 4. 1, 2, 3. Insert your hook into the 3rd chain. Yarn over, pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Let's make the last round of the border chain 4 again. This is counting as a double crochet and a chain 1. Now this round is very easy. You to make a double crochet in all the double crochet. So make a double crochet in this. See this is the first chain 3. We have made already a double crochet and a chain 1. Go to the next double crochet. Make a double crochet. We are going to chain 1. Go to the next double crochet, make a double crochet. After we make a double crochet, we will chain 1. We are going to go to the next double crochet, make a double crochet, 
chain 1. Go to the next double crochet, make a double crochet and then chain 1. Continue till the end of the round and I will meet you there. We have reached the end of the round, made a double crochet in the last double crochet and then chain 1. Now we have reached this very first chain 3 or this chain 4 that we made. We are going to jump to the third chain first, 1, 2, 3 and insert a hook and make a slip stitch. And this is the end of the last round. So now we are going to leave about 4 to 5 inches, cut the yarn and then pull out a loop by tugging on our hook. We are going to weave this tail end in. So this is the armhole of my shrug and we are going to make a border for it. We will make a border on the right side of the shrug always. We are going to attach the yarn at the stitch marker here or this is actually where the seam has ended for the side. We will attach the yarn in the same way that we did for the center of our shrug. We are going to insert our hook into the corner stitch like this. We are going to catch the yarn in a loop form on it and then pull it through. And now we are going to chain 3. This is going to be our first double crochet. Make another double crochet in the same space. We are going to insert our hook and make another double crochet. So now in this row we are going to make two double crochets and then chain two. It's just like the border for the center of the shrug. Now we are just going to jump to the next space that we see and make two double crochets. One and two. Now we are going to chain 2, 1, 2. I am going to skip over the space, jump to the next stitch and make 2 double crochets, 1 and 2. Then I am going to chain 2. So we want to arrange these stitches as evenly as possible and at the end of the round we want to have a multiple of 4. We want to be as even as possible while placing our double crochets and our chain 2's. Always leave a gap below the chain 2 so that this little gap comes in the pattern and we want to make sure that the stitches are not too close together or too far apart. I will meet you at the end of the round. I have reached the end of round 1 of the border of the armhole. I have made 2 double crochet chain 2 and now we are going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain of this first chain 3 we made chain 1, chain 2, chain 3. Insert your hook into the third chain. Round 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are exactly like that of the center of the shrug. So we are going to begin round 2 with 2 slip stitches, slip stitch in the double crochet and slip stitch in the chain 2 space. Now we are going to begin with the chain 3, make a double crochet in the same space. After that we are going to chain 2. We are going to skip over the next 2 double crochet. Make 2 double crochet in the chain 2 space, 1 and 2, then we are going to chain 2. Skip over the next 2 double crochet and 2 double crochet in this chain 2 space. Continue till the end of the round joined by a slip stitch. So we are going to make 6 rounds in all exactly like that of the center of the shrug. I will meet you once we finish this armhole. In exactly the same way as the first armhole, we are going to make the second armhole border as well. So make sure you have the same number of stitches in round 1 and you have the same number of rounds. Your cocoon shrug is now ready to wear. The written pattern has been linked in the description box below. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends and leave me a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for watching. Here are some similar tutorials you may enjoy. See you next time.